what's going on my lovely uh water signs right so this reading will be for the monthly predictions for the month of september for my lovely water signs cancer scorpio and pisces all right um keep in mind that we are in uh new moon so that's all about that and new opportunities we are um my Scorp i'm a scorpio myself so we are very intuitive and emotional signs so we are very psychic and we feel a lot of energies right and that could be a good thing and a bad thing because we just know when someone is being false or you know just when something is not right within so we're gonna get right into your reading and see what is your overall energy for this um month coming in september what Days are we in? What chapter are we getting to? What is energies, any energies surrounding our current state right now? I'm hoping everyone is doing well. Again, this reading is for my lovely water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So our current energy is The Seven of Swords, being very strategic about a certain situation, taking what we need and leaving what we don't, and taking the back door out, all right? So I see you guys are being very strategic about something, okay? Creating a master plan, being very secretive, not telling nobody, actually just um, going in and coming out very swiftly about a certain situation or a move that's at hand right now. We're going to see anything that is blocking you. Any challenges that we should be expecting. All right, the King of Pentacles. So the challenge for the month of September is really stepping into one's power um, and that masculine energy and really being a leader, really being financially stable and, and creating opportunities for ourselves and others, um, taking on that leadership role and being a provider, um, um, self-sufficient, right? Some of you guys also are being asked to upgrade on your career because now you are equipped um, with that, Okay. So that is your challenge, is to step into your power and be swift with your movements. Not to tell a lot of people about what's going on, um, especially when it comes to your finances or what are you trying to build in the future. We're going to get right into your reading. Tell me what I need to know about my lovely water signs. Moving into um, the month of September. You can also uh, have somebody not too happy with the level of achievements that you are um, headed towards also, okay? So be, be aware of, of people in the workplace not having the best interest for you. You know, um, try not to, uh, try not to um, be gossipy, okay? when it comes to your finances and how much you have or how much you are about to acquire or what moves you are making. All right, so you have the Justice card. Whoa, you have the Hierophant and you have the Three of Wands. So you have two major arcanas that is popping out right now for you guys, okay? And that tells me that you see the big, you, you're seeing the bigger picture about something and the scales is balancing in your favor right now, um, water signs. There's something at hand right now that you can finally grasp and you see that there's an opportunity at hand right now and your ships are coming in. There, there's a hole, you see, this energy is standing in front of a whole white ocean. There's a broad of opportunities that is uh, uh, awaiting for you right now and you finally see that. Okay, and with this hierophant, I feel like you guys are being spiritually guided to do something. I feel like also that you are trying to create balance with your spirituality and how you move in a 3D as well. 
okay? Because the Hierophant is all about traditional ways. And spirit might be guiding you to take a leap of faith into maybe even relocating, all right? Spirit might be guiding you to do something out of the norm because you're finally ready and equipped to move forward. You, there's a lesson that you have learned in the recent past with this justice card that allowed the scales to go in your favor, water signs. There's a situation that you handled, um, handled in, in a way that you fought spiritually, okay? And you allowed the universe to guide you in this in this season, in that season in your recent past. So now you have passed the test sort of, and now you kind of see your shifts at hand. Um, the things that you wanted and you desired in a recent past is more tangible right now because you have passed a test in a spiritual realm, all right? Some of you guys also may be opening a business and you're waiting for some type of loan to come in or you're waiting for some, some, some type of support. I see that support coming in as well. I feel like maybe your emotions may be all over the place. Um, just trying to figure out the time and just trying to uh, take control. But right now, spirit is at work right here and everything is flowing in the way that it's supposed to um, water signs. And also, I feel like using your intuition, moving forward, and whatever it is that is at hand right now is going to be your best bet. Because you already completed, um, you already implemented a plan. You already followed the direction of spirit. You, have, you already followed the direction of your higher self and whatever it is that is going on right now. You move swiftly in the situation. I, I'm, all, I'm hearing you, you dodge the bullet. I'm hearing you dodge the bullet with this card, all right? You move swiftly in a situation and it, it, it allows you to see things and use your intuition because as you can see in this justice card, she is blindfolded, but she's still able to connect with source and connect with her higher self, which is the sun to balance out all the energies around her to create opportunities where it's going gonna, it's gonna to reap good karma right that's what you did you followed source here in a recent past you trusted the divine and whatever it is that was at hand right now now you have the opportunity to move forward it's like it's like you have exceeded a gateway you have entered a new portal because you have passed a test in some sort of situation we're going to continue with your reading all right we're going to see why is this justice here what did you balance out or what needed to be balanced out um, that spirit was divinely guiding you um, to do? Why is this justice here? So this justice, the magician, there was something that you was manifesting that actually came to fruition or that's coming to fruition now. There was a type of seed that you have um, planted in the past where you needed help from the divine and it allowed you to understand that you were able, you had all the tools within yourself to manifest what you needed to come about with this magician and this justice card. There was also some type of sadness in the recent past with this five of cups where you felt like you may have missed out on an opportunity, but then there was some type of balance that was restored where you realized right behind you, there was two more blessings. You see that you know, you, you wanted to wave the flag and felt like everything was over, but everything wasn't over because spirit is not going to force you to abandon something, right? Or leave a certain situation, person, place, or thing without providing you the necessary tools to move forward. And I think in the recent past, you didn't see that. 
But now, as you started to realize who you are as the magician of your own life, you balanced out the scales and whatever situation that caused you grief and sadness and, and, and left those, you may have felt like you abandoned something, but you realized you had two new opportunities behind you that spirit then came down and, grant, and, and granted to you. So that way those emotions could balance out. You felt like you left something, but boom, you have something else to fall back on. So that's what happened in the recent past. You felt like you had to abandon something, but something happened to where you gained the strength to realize who you were in a situation and really take control and grasp the strength to create and manifest yourself out of grief and sorrow and take those two cups behind you and utilize those to your advantage. And now you are able to walk away in victory in a situation in a recent past. You manifested yourself out of a situation by by seeing the big, bigger picture and realizing all was not lost in a certain situation in your recent past that was at hand. You realize all was not lost if you leave certain things behind because you had two new opportunities. So all was not lost. And then you took those opportunities and you manifested it um, with a signs. Just as you are, you use your intuition and you realize the capabilities of what you had around you. And you manifested yourself out of grief and, grief and sadness or you felt or whatever missed opportunity, you manifested yourself out of that. Because you utilize those other two cups behind you from the five of cups. You utilize these two beautiful cups that are standing and you realize all was not lost. All right, that had you able to balance out the scales. You know why? Because what is at the center of your reading, um, water signs? It is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is all about the being divinely guided in a certain situation, okay? So you literally, it was a scary time for you because when you at a, at a time in your life in a recent past you didn't recognize what was behind you so trusting your intuition as uh as you are you know you are a sign of intuition and emotional and, and a, an emotional sign this could have been hard for you but you 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 released control and you took a divinely guided action towards something greater and you picked up those two cups and allowed you to balance out the scales and move towards victory here what a signs so you you passed a test in the spiritual realm you learned a lesson and that was able for you to open up the gateway to whatever opportunities that you want to create right now there's an opportunity that you have um implemented or or you're trying to structure in place you're building something on a new foundation and now you have like the opportunity of an open portal right now for you guys because you 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 took a divinely guided action and you listen and now the gateway is open for you to actually um whatever it is that you manifested or you thought that was lost you have a greater expansion and a wide range of of a foundation to play with you're not you're not you're not restricted in any sort of type of way you're in front of the sea. The ocean is broad and your ships are coming in. So I'm also getting um, water signs. If you felt or you were waiting for anything to come in in your favor, if you're waiting to open up a business and you were just waiting for the funds to come in, if you're waiting for a relationship to move to, to the next level, a new relationship, but you were trying to release anything, um, if you were... Um, waiting for something to come in a mail that will excel in your career, that has a kind of grip on your career. I see those ships coming in for you guys, especially in the recent future, um, in the immediate future. It's like you really transmuted all of this hurt and pain, whatever it is that will, that caused you grief. I don't care if it was a job. I don't care if it was split in ways with somebody. I don't care if it was um, ending a friendship. Whatever it is that caused you grief, you kind of like literally transmuted. You was about to wave in the towel. You was about to wave in that flag. You was about to give up. But something happened where you, you must have been praying 
right? And your prayers has been answered to where somebody in your spiritual realm answered your call and gave you the energy because this um, talks about the yang. This is a masculine energy when you see the, um, the magician. So this is all about you receiving energy from the divine and getting yourself up out of that grief, grief and loss feeling and understand that okay this might happen but hey i still got two <laughs> two major cups behind me that is filled that is glowing all right and you were able to again balance out the scales and move forward towards something that is at hand right now we're gonna see what is that why is the three of wands here i'm not surprised because you know you guys know how to get up out of a situation as long as you pay attention to yourself and your intuition and how you feel. And look, wish fulfillment is out. You guys are literally headed in the month of September to an idea that is going to allow you to, to feel like you achieved your wish fulfillment. It's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you pleasure. It's going to have you in the energy of celebrating your achievements and your accomplishments. In a nine of cups, this energy is celebrating. Finally, something came about. Again, you see your ships is coming in. So something that you guys have been waiting for, my lovely water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, is finally coming in in the months of September that is going to allow you to feel like your wish fulfillment is here. It's going to allow you to feel like you have been granted finally what you have been wishing for. And again, that is because you followed source. You took a divinely guided approach to a certain situation that in the past caused you a lot of grief. But instead of sitting in that situation, you transmuted that energy into some type, some type of very, very inner 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 power to where you were able to manifest literally yourself and create balance in a certain situation and now you're at your wish fulfillment in the month of september and i also think is because you know you guys also finally learned that no one and everyone doesn't have to know your next move you, you realize that, you know, certain things must be kept quiet for it to manifest in real time in the actual 3D. Certain things you know about a certain situation, all you have to do is take what you know and leave the rest and move on with your life and your journey. And you realize that's how you be able to manifest in such a powerful state. All right, that's why you are at your wish fulfillment. You learned how to manifest and bring everything into the 3D by not only taking a divinely guided approach, by not only transmuting your hurt and your sadness into something that can fulfill you financially, mentally, emotionally, and physically, but for you to actually enjoy. There's a tangible moment that is happening in the month of September or moving forward that is going to provide you with, again, a lot of wish fulfillment at ease peacefulness celebrations community being honored for all of your hard work and all of your emotional energy that you put into things all right your ships again if you guys are just coming into the reading has finally set in those boats that are coming in the three of wands that is your wish fulfillment they are here in the month of September. Congratulations. So we're going to see why is this nine of cups here? What is this wish fulfillment? Why is this nine of cups here? This nine of cups is here because look, this nine of cups is here because you have worked so hard in the past of grief and sorrow that spirit said, as long as you have faith and whatever it is that, that, that you are being divinely guided to take, 
I got you. And because you have did that, the nine of cups is clarified by judgment. Spirit weighing the horn and saying, hey, this cannot go on no more. You must come out of come up out of this whole and abundant because that is who you are and allowed you to welcome and change guys and allowed you to strip off a layer of ego of attachment of of acting as if someone else's dream you claimed who you really are and you released any attachment of egos of self-doubt and that's why you are being granted your wish fulfillment because you got up out of the eight of swords energy. A lot of people are mentally not able to get up out of this of this mental prison that they put their own self in. But you were able to understand that you have your own thing tied to your hands. You can be released by any means. And spirit, again, that was a divinely guided action to take. And when you do stuff like that, that requires faith, water signs. So with what happens in the spirit realm, you get granted a wish. Spirit is not going to make you go through all that suffering for you to learn a lesson and learn how to come up out of mental, mental, mental frustrations that you don't cause yourself in because you don't believe in yourself. That takes strength. So the fact that you got up out of that and gained strength out of all the situation, this is your blessing. We get blessings once we trust in spirit. And that's what you did in a recent past. And that is why the Nine of Cups was clarified by the, judge, the judgment and the Eight of Swords. You were able to get out of a mental state of sadness and imprisonment within yourself. And being that you took a divinely got an action and transmuted that energy, you was granted a wish fulfillment. And your ships are here. So we're going to um, clarify this Three of Wands. Why is this Three of Wands here? So the Three of Wands is clarified by the strength. What did I say? The three of wands is clarified by the strength and the nine of swords. I mean, the nine of wands. The nine of wands is all about determination and endurance. You guys have endured a past of, uh, of a lot of stuff. Maybe things that I can't even think about. You know your stories. You know how to switch the energies around. But this is why your ships are coming in, guys. It's because you have endured and you almost felt like you was about to give up in a recent past. But Spirit is saying you have one one left. Use that to your ability. And you did to move forward. Now you're at the finish line and you regain strength. You learned how to deal with your inner demons. You know, you learned how to use them as a friend and a resource when you need to. When you need to be stern in situations. When you need to be in control control of certain situations but in certain in other situations you don't and now being that you endured the most enduring thing possible that anybody could think of you have gained strength you have gained a hold of that beast that is with inside all of us all right because again you had faith within yourself the magician is yourself knowing that you have infinite power of manifesting whatever you want okay so that is what's clarified by the three of wands your ships are coming in because you have regained strength in something that made you feel like you couldn't go on no more you have regained your power back and now you are able to move forward in your career your life your manifestations all right we are going to see why this Hierophant is here, all right? This divinely got an approach to things, this wisdom, this inner traditional way of, of doing things. Spirituality, a spiritual path, all right? Why is the Hierophant here? So the Hierophant is here. Oh my gosh, look. See, when you listen to spirit and take a divinely guided approach again, you get rewarded. Not only do you get rewarded in the spiritual realm, you're able to enjoy all of those things right here in the 3D. Spirit is granting you, okay, the opportunity in the up and coming months, in the up and coming um, weeks 
to create a life that you always wanted. There's an opportunity that's going to come in that's going to bring you financial comfortability, generational wealth. All right. And, and you have this um, king of swords here. So, you know, this is you adding structure to whatever it is that is going on at here. And you having a grip and you creating balance into something that is going to provide you and your family the ability to live the way you want. Financial freedom. Breaking all generational old traditions that don't work no more because it's leading you to a path of, path of abundance where you and your loved ones are going to be well off, all right? And you always have to be, again, because the king of swords can be set in their ways sometimes. So always be open to change also. If you are divine masculine, be open to different things. Be open to communication. Be open to clarity, and continue to be stern and create opportunities of structure in your life. Because that is what's bringing you this Ten of Pentacles, my water signs. This life of abundance and prosperity. Not having to rely on anything or anybody. All the cars you want. All, all the things you ever dreamed about. All the clothes you ever wanted. All the financial freedom. Alright, we're going to post some advice. And we're going to close out this reading. The wish is here. Your time is now. No more sadness. No more grief. But transmuting that energy into realizing not all is lost when I have to give up something to make room for another blessing. All right. You are the magician. You are in a powerful energy of manifesting. You are in an energy of swift action. Let's not forget about this King of Pentacles, which talks about financial stability with this Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be able to, to provide for not, for, not, for not only yourself, but for others, for your community. I see very uh, prosperous things coming your way in a month, in the month of September. I see you releasing and spirit helping you achieve different things that you couldn't even iman imagine yourself. I feel like you also surprise yourself. The next card out. Look, the Empress. You are birthing new opportunities. You are birthing new ideas to the world that is going to have a major, major positive impact on a lot of people around you guys. For some of you guys, if you are a female, the Empress talks about being pregnant, but it also talks about being pregnant with ideas and new ways of, of, of going about life. She's a nurturer, you know, whether you're divine masculine or feminine. If you are not seeking pregnancy, did, you know, you are birthing new opportunities for yourself and others. This is someone that on a day-to-day -day basis, you can come to with your problems. You will always find the solution in the Empress energy. So, you know, you guys are in an energy of birthing new ideas birthing new opportunities you are manifesting at a fast rate that is going to lead you to a path and a life of abundance not only for you but for your family and that is because you have learned in a recent past to transmute the energy of feeling like you're being abandoned or feeling like a missed opportunity rather than transmuting it into all that is not lost Everything that you have to give up is not all, all lost because you're making room for a brand new abundance that's happening right here. I see you walking in victory, walking in your achievements, actually celebrating life. Your shifts have came in for the month of September because there's a seed that you have planted that you have no idea of what you did in the future for yourself and for others. You are the mastermind of, I feel like, your foundation right now, guys. And I'm so happy to deliver this reading. The bottom of the deck, as we are closing out, look, the two of swords. You are no longer in ties of not being able to make decisions no more for yourself. For yourself, okay? You are granting new opportunities new opportunities you are embarking on new ways that can be financially secure um secure for you and your household you are embarking on new opportunities that you can learn how to invest your time into tangible outcomes all right and also you have the lovers card 
You may be expecting to get into a union, but first you're going to be able to meet that person with the same things that you need to be met with. Thank you guys. Love you.